For the first time since 1994, Mets Old-Timers Day is back. The festivities will go down before Saturday night's game against the Colorado Rockies at City Field. And New York Post Mets beat writer Mike Puma, he will be there for the festivities. And he joins me now. Mike, good to see you. It's been 28 years since Mets fans got to enjoy Old-Timers Day. So how excited is both the organization and the fan base about this event? Yeah, this is something that uh, we've been hearing about since the winter. The Mets announced it during uh, the, the lockout. I, I think it was something that got everybody excited about baseball at a time we were waiting for everything to start. And they've, they've done a nice job of it, of uh, putting it together. 65 former players and managers and uh, throughout the throughout the process, uh, I, I give a lot of credit to Mets director of alumni relations, Jay Horowitz. He's, he's the glue who really put this thing together and uh steve cohen answered the fans prayers they've wanted you know this is one something fans have been asking for for a while and uh now they're getting old timers day yep fans definitely excited about that so i know you see comments from fans on twitter wherever it may be but what have you heard from mets fans about which players and or managers they're excited to see back with the team and who do you think might get the loudest ovation today well daryl strawberry coming back it is certainly is something newsworthy he has I, I think he said he hasn't been back uh wearing a Mets jersey since uh maybe the 1990s so this, this will be a you, you don't see too much of Daryl Strawberry these days he'll be back there uh Dwight Gooden will be back there as, as far as who's going to get the loudest applause you know Mike Piazza is still as popular as anyone who's ever worn the Mets uniform but you got Bartolo Colon who's going to be there he's one of the starting pitchers today and uh, I, I think he may be right up there with Piazza as far as getting the applause today I can totally see that the fans can't wait to see Bartolo back in a Mets uniform and Maybe hopefully uh, if he hits to maybe running around the bases beside pitching, that'll be always interesting to see. But Mike, this will be a different old timers day in the sense that the Mets don't have to honor the former National League forebears that played in New York before them, the Giants and the Dodgers. So what does it mean now that the team can celebrate 60 years of its own history? Yeah, the original old timers day was the Mets had at the polo grounds back in 62 and the Mets didn't have any history at that point. So for old timers, they brought back former Dodgers and Giants players who were still popular from, you know, Brooklyn Dodgers, New York Giants. Now the Mets have their own history all these years later. And it, it's, it's really nice because you have the, the different eras. You have the 69 Mets and we're going to see some of those uh, players there today. In addition to some of the original Mets from 62 and then, you know, the heroes from 86, obviously and we're going to see a lot of those guys. And then, you know, even the teams that came close but came up short 2000 and 2015 with Daniel Murphy uh, representing uh, that group. So it, it's just nice that they're at this point in their history where they have these different eras that they can honor. Should be a fun event, fun day for Mets fans. Old Timers Day, as I said, first time since 1994 that the Mets are doing this. Mike Puma, your post-Mets beat writer, excuse me, he will be there for sure. Mike, enjoy the day and the festivities. Thank you.